Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, just post recovery, as well as killing a couple of wolves and some fishies that were out here in the water. Uh, and liking more and more the idea of building in this wide river lake area between the dark lands and the village. Now, while we're here, we're going to get ourselves some squid ink. Oh, when you hit a squid, they ink you. That's, that's adorable, the poor thing. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is because we can combine... We can grind an ink sack into black dye powder, and we can combine black dye powder with orange dye powder to make the brown dye powder that we need to make our um, water bladder, fluid bladder. I don't know. The thing that we need to do water early games. Come here, squid. All right, I'm enjoying what this axe can do for me because I like things that hit real hard, but I want something that can hit harder than um, nine damage so that I can kill squids and cows and stuff in one hit without extra work. Anyway, just wanted to share that little tidbit with you because finding the... Um, I thought I had one. I thought I had one in my inventory, but now it is gone. Uh, there was a bit of an adventure getting back over here, which uh, I, I t took care of the uh, piranhas, but then there was a hammerhead shark, and, um, well, things things were a bit of a mess, but it worked out eventually. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd prefer me to uh, keep that sort of running in place, getting back to where I've already been off camera, or if you want me to share those adventures with you. Uh, I find them very frustrating, so there may be a lot of um, complaining involved if I'm uh, attempting to share those on screen. Just f be forewarned about that. But yeah, uh, we'll be able to turn our... Um, we'll be able to get some orange dye. And the orange flowers I find a lot easier to spot. California poppy. What do you turn into? You turn into orange dye. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. So there's the two orange dye powder that we need to make two brown dye powder to make a water bladder. Let's get back home and start grinding some stuff. Ooh. All right, now that we've ground up our ink sacks and our flour to get ourselves our orange and our black dye, we've got our brown dye now. Oh, actually, that made extra. Good. We'll be able to make two of these. Fantastic. And now we can work on making that bladder, which I don't remember the recipe for because it's been long enough. Oh, oh, of course I need another ink sack. That's okay. I'll go hunt a squid on my own time. But uh, let's get that, uh, get this set up and get some stuff put away. Actually, you know what? We're not going to make that just yet because I've got more wolf pelt. Six is enough to... I guess I'm going to make boots with it because I can't do anything else and there's nothing I can do with the head besides make more uh, um, helmets. Darn. That's okay. We're slowly but surely building ourselves a wolf pelt arsenal, which I'm happy for. More armor and more armor toughness. Besides, it looks cool. All right, so I'll be back with that. Uh, actually, can I just, can I substitute the black dye powder? I don't think I can. It really wants an ink sack specifically, probably because of the structure of the sack. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Should not have made all of the black dye powder. Anyway, uh, I need better boxes. What's it take for me to get the advanced primal chest? Bark. How do I get bark? Apply a... Work blade to wood. And that then gives me stripped logs. Let's see what we can do with the stripped logs. Oh, well, we can use them in place of logs for pretty much all purposes. And we can chop them into... Yeah, okay, cool. So, let's make a mess. Go ahead and pick you up. And that goes the U, and then the bark, right? Two, three, four. 
Yeah, there we go. Advanced chest. And that does have significantly more room in it. Excellent. That's better. Much, much better. Yeah, check that out. All the space to work with. Well, not all of it. Not nearly as much as we want, but the best uh, option that we have right now. <laughs> all right, back home. Nighttime. Used up some uh, charcoal on this campfire just to see how long the low-grade charcoal block would burn. The answer is quite a long time. However, we do have a better option available to us, so it's past time that we upgrade to it. And then we'll get our water bladder and start in on making some uh, leather. So, three smooth stone on the bottom, and then a little teepee of three rocks. Smash it together, and we get... Uh-oh. A zombie villager showing up. Ow. Oh, darn. There. Dead zombie villager. And another one. Well, if we didn't already have a village available, at least zombie villagers spawn often enough that once we got into uh, making magic happen, we know that we it'd be pretty simple for us to resurrect a village. The stone grill works a lot like the clay kilns, and it goes over top of an open flame and functions as a... Creeper... I need to build a wall. Or actually, you know what I need to do is I need to go move to that safer location floating above the river that I've been talking about that I'm so interested in. Start to stop just talking about the idea and actually start doing. And I'll show you, I, I think how I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you the basic building smart, uh, style once uh, day is here. And then I'm going to do a bunch of the actual building off camera. So this functions basically as a one slot furnace. I don't know if I can put stone in there and have it cook. Let's find out. Uh, let's find out. Or yes, actually you can. It just takes time. And because of the charcoal block, it basically um, is free cooking forever. So we no longer need to worry about doing it that way. We can go ahead and put all five of our uh, um, pork chops on the grill and just let them cook. They'll be done when they're done. No problem. And so let's uh, pop on over to... Well, for one, let's get our chopping block back down. Let's pop on over to that river. So I'm sick of dealing with monsters at night. And the best way around that is just going to be to make myself a safer place to hang out at night and do my thing. Though I am going to be building out... Hmm. Here's a problem. If I start building with wood, I'm not going to be able to uh, use a lot of flame nearby. So I'm going to need to make sure that I have some stone. I can't make brick yet. What can I do with you to make some better looking crafting option or building options? Everything's restricted, restricted, restricted still. So I'm probably not even supposed to be able to see most of these recipes. That might be a uh, oversight or it might just be how it's going to be. Oh. I can brace my uh, shield with stone. That would be significantly better than the uh, crude wooden shield I'm currently using. Slabs. Yeah, I think that we're just going to end up building with uh, plain smooth stone for our initial area. Because we can't get... We, there's no way we can get our hands on a chisel yet. Wait, we can squeeze stone into cobblestone. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Uh, transmutation. Yeah, all of this is stuff that we don't have access to yet. We can s Once we're in stage one, we will get stone anvils. That'll be fantastic. I am looking forward to uh, seeing what other silliness there is in this pack. 
So yeah, if we're going to build ourselves a fireproof section, it's going to have to be with cobblestone or smooth stone. And I think I'll use a combination and see if I can make like a chimney effect happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. And I'm going to use birch wood for most of my wood at the moment. And we're going to need some dirt to set up a tree pla a platform for growing tree. I didn't actually bring any birch wood saplings with me. That's okay. We've got birch wood right here. And we've got rain. Fantastic. The whole point, by the way, of all of this work that I'm doing is still to be able to start making uh, leather, because once we have leather made, then we'll be able to make ourselves um, the first bed in the game and reset our spawn point, and then life gets a lot less stressful. I did that wrong somehow. Hang on. Oh, because this is the plant fiber, not the uh, twine. That's why. Still not right. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, it is shaped crafting and it does need to be on the bottom. There we go. So fiddly. Looking forward to a crafting table. I've never been looking forward to a crafting table before, which I think is fantastic. Alright, now let's see how well these fluid bladders work. Can they fill themselves off of running water? No. Which means that we need to find some water source blocks and find out if we can... Huh. Wow. Okay, so these can't, these don't, these do actually eat up the water source block. Luckily, I believe that they work exactly like buckets. And it, there's at least some possibility that there's something in place to stop water that we move from duplicating because we've got better with mods, which... Oh, actually, they can't they can't place water in the world. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and stash our uh, most things for now. We're going to cut chop down more birch. Um, and I'll meet you over at uh, where we're going to be building. All right, out into the middle of the river away from the Darklands on the exact opposite side of where our current camp's set up. I'm going to use cobblestone pillars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go ahead and nine by nine it. For now. Anyway. And... <clears throat> We'll just start with something that allow us to uh, step our way up. Uh, you know what? We don't need that to be pure dirt, do we? Even if we want to be growing uh, trees over here, that's overkill. Um, you know, I could actually just literally build onto the riverbed. It's shallow enough here that that wouldn't be a problem to do. I could build myself a little lawn and everything. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of that. I'm going to need to... Uh, find a way to get some grass out here if I want it to be a little prettier but we'll do that we'll deal with that later so let's see uh, that means I'm probably actually gonna want to extend oh yeah I forgot my pickaxe is broken I don't have any flint handy or any gravel for that matter I bet there's some gravel nearby but that's fine uh, we'll deal with it later that probably means that I'm gonna want to actually go with 11 by 11 or 9, 10, 11. That would be to here. Yeah, I'm good at this game. And then uh, have a too wide barrier around the room. Well, no, not exactly. We're going to end up building to that corner as our 9x9. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And that way we'll have... Yeah, this will be okay, I think. I think this will be okay. Oh, looks like I uh, need to repair my shovel. Luckily, we can do that in, in, in inventory without an issue. All right. Done. Good. And then we will fill this in so I have that little strip of lawn in front of what I'm doing here. And we'll take care of this cobblestone, get rid of it entirely as soon as we can, as soon as we can. So this is going to be where I'm going to build my hearth slash chimney, my cooking area. Which means I'm going to want to have a nice stone hearth area. Um, I probably don't want that one there. Probably want to... Uh, Kiln, 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 grill, and then two spots away from it to be also stone so that it won't, we won't have things catching fire issues. I'm going to need more smooth stone to make all of that work uh, as well as I want it to. And then the rest of the area can be storage and, and uh, such. Yeah, that's going to work out fine, I think. For now, we're going to be planting some saplings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope. Oh, looks like I might have a ghoul coming at, uh, coming at me slowly. That's why I wanted to build out here. So nothing could get at me quickly. And especially once I've got a bow. Yeah, I'm going to be sitting pretty with this water area. That is until something flying comes at me. I have no idea what the uh, Darkland spawns are going to be like long term. That'll be interesting to find out, though. One, two, there. And that's where my limit is for building with birch. All right, so cobblestone. It's going to make up the walls of this section for now. I may come back and replace that with smooth stone later, but I didn't have enough, uh, nearly as much smooth stone as I thought I might. Um, yeah, 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 we're good. Oops, gotta break that. No problem. And we're gonna need to get rid of this water. There we go. down some charcoal and they're gonna be our fire area fantastic three high for the walls yeah and then uh, we're gonna want to well I'm going to want because I want to uh, make this look kind of neat Hmm, I'm gonna have to decide on either cobblestone walls everywhere, which I'd prefer to avoid, or building up a kind of chimney and then having plank and wall uh, logs, uh, plank and log walls the rest of the area. Kind of like that idea better. Let me see what I can do for. Mm, I'm going to want to make some slabs and stuff. So I need to, now that I've got my platform, I'm going to go grab the rest. I'm, well, I'm going to wait for morning. Then I'm going to go grab the rest of my crafting everything and bring it over here. And in the meantime, we're going to wish we had sticks and we don't. Right, nothing to do but wait then. All right, I kind of lost track of what I was doing and just started building and playing with designs until I came up with something that I'm vaguely happy with. It's not perfect, I'm not satisfied yet, but we've got a fire area that doesn't seem to be setting the boards on fire, 
Still need to get the last block of charcoal down there and lit. And a cute little chimney where we can see the smoke go up into the chimney or at least get caught and slowly dissipate. And then up here we've got a nice rain baffle on it so that we won't have water pouring into our house every time it rains. Hmm. I still want to be able to, like, access the chimney from the top for, you know, pretend maintenance and cleaning of creosote. Which are major chimney-related issues. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do nicely, I think. Can I replace you with a slab? Yes, I can. Yeah, so now I can run in uh, through my chimney if I so desire and, you know, die horribly. Um... Yeah, I think that works out pretty neat. Ow. Watch that first step. Uh, I did kill some more pigs along the way, grabbed some more uh, birch trees, got myself a new chopping block, and that I'm going to take a little bit of time and uh, a couple of day times, I think, and run everything from the old place to the new place. And let's see. Three high, we said? Yeah, I like having it at least three high. We can build ourselves a nice little uh, place to live here. It may require me to uh, get back on top of things, on top of this area once or twice, but that's all right. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll trim this tree down so that it's not causing trouble. Might need to... Uh, find a different place to grow trees. They're a little close to the walls, aren't they? That's okay. We can extend the lawn out some. We've got plenty of dirt and the easy ability to get more. Kind of enjoying uh, trying to build a, you know, minimal viable housing unit and also place to um, not hate our existence. Three. Boom. Bum, bum, uh, I think we gotta go four high, actually, if we want to do this right. Because I want to have the a beam running across as well. I guess it could just be two high and then the beam. That could work out fine. Let's try that. Shovel. Repaired all my tools so that I'd have plenty of goodies ready for me. Too high, then beam. Yeah, because that way we'll have the... We'll have a door right there, which will just meet that beam. It'll be good. This will be great. Okay, yeah, I can work with this. And then uh, there's actually a roofing material that's included with the pack. Um called Thatch, which I'm eager to use. And yeah, yeah, this will work out good. I think this is going to be pretty cool looking when it's all done, but it's going to take a lot more uh, chopping down birch trees before we're quite there. That's fine. I don't mind doing the work. This will be a nice little uh, hut to take us into the latter parts of the game. Well, I mean, not into not the latter parts as in late game. I mean, it'll get us through the early game towards the mid and late game. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Words. Words are hard. Three. Block, 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 block. No, I'm out. It's okay. One final birch tree to the rescue. Hooray. And I just, I really like the look of birch bark, especially with the faithful texture pack is pretty. Fantastic. Um, do I want a window in this wall? I kind of do. I kind of want a window in every wall. I suppose I can get rid of this dirt now. I'm not using it anymore. Like that? Yeah, like that. Excellent. Okay, 
So the uh, roofing material requires materials that are back at the camp and it's past time to go and get everything moved anyway. So once I get everything moved, we'll come back and start working on our next steps. Right, so I've got everything over at the uh, hut, our little house, our new home for the early game. And I'm starting to set up some farmland because now that we've got easy access to irrigation and everything else, it's time. I tried to set up a bunch of uh, sugar cane, but it turns a weird color when you plant it. And I don't know if that's the biome or if it's just not going to happen. And it seems to be deplanting itself over time. So I need to do some research on why exactly that is and how I can solve it. Now, cropland is fragile. Normally, it's not a big deal if someone, you know, hops on your cropland, you just pull out your hoe and fix it. But when we need to spend one bone meal per till, it gets pretty expensive to replace cropland. That's why I made myself some cobblestone walls, which I'm going to put around my crops. We're going to... Uh, Eventually build this out. I figure I'll start with 32 total cropland once I uh, have enough bone to do so. And I'll probably take down the trees here and extend the front yard of the house to be where we do our tree farming. Because we're going to need a lot of birch wood for my plans for the uh, roof those involve rushes and thatch and to use thatch let me show you uh, how that works um, thatch requires you to use rushes to make fresh thatching and then you put four thatches together to make a wet thatch which you can put in the world or toss into your kiln to dry into a thatch and you need slats to support your your thatch well the problem is that one space worth of slats uses six planks because the slabs you make one to one and three sticks so with the area that i want to cover with uh, thatch roofing that's going to take quite a lot of lumber and i'm okay with that. That, that that's the sort of thing that can slow we can slowly work up to while we work on other things now the real excitement comes from the fact that we can start our leather production now let me just uh, take care of these trees real quick. At least get them off of the... Yeah, there we go. And I'll finish chopping these down in a minute. And then we'll get the crops planted. Yeah, a lot of manual labor ahead, but I'm actually excited for it. I guess because I'm some sort of weirdo. Anyway, uh, you go away. Didn't I have... Yes, good, I do have raw potatoes. Um, all right, so leather, leather, leather. We've got our salt, we've got our raw hide, and, oh good, I can hold uh, a direction and click, and we've got our fluid bladder, and that gets us our salted hide. Now, I'm noticing that the water is not replenishing itself. So, my plan is to move ahead of where I'm planning on putting down farmland and scoop out the water from this area because it's not going to replenish anyway. See? I might as well make sure that uh, I'm not taking any that I'm going to miss having. Bump. Bump. There we go. Yeah. That, that, that's for the best, I think. And I'm not sure how that mechanic works, why it's working that way, but I'm going to do my best to find out another time. Uh, or I might just work with it until I um, don't care anymore and have the ability to ignore that mechanic. That is another option. Ooh, hello. And this is why I love living out here. Dr. Orange and a zombie are coming my way, and I am not scared of either of them because I don't need to be, because they can't move fast in the water. Fantastic.
Another one? Yeah, bring it on, buddy. You ain't got nothing on me. And hopefully, once we have our leather, we'll end up with better water options. Hoop, hoop, bam. Excellent. Okay, so the next advancement is leather, rinse, repeat, and the barrel of <laughs> a primal core wooden barrel. So, wooden barrel. Actually, that might not be a thing that I... Oh, here we go. It's just oak or birch or spruce. Oh, okay. Collects water when left out in the rain. There we go. That's our answer. So I'll make a couple of birch barrels. Uh, yeah, I've got enough um, lumber to make a number of those, actually. So between episodes, I'm going to set up some birch barrels to supply water for our leather making efforts. And I'm going to set up this salted hide to dry on some drying racks, which we can make with slabs. Ah, uh, two minutes per go. I think I'll set up five drying racks. Set them near the uh, hearth. You know, for the aesthetic ple ple pleasure of having the uh, thing that needs to be dry near the fire. Eventually, I'm going to replace that water block that I accidentally removed. But for now, it's just going to have to be sad and missing. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If so, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you liked and leave a thumbs up. If not, tell me what you didn't. Leave a thumbs down. Either way, you want to see more of this series, please click subscribe. Next time, we're going to be uh, seeing if maybe we can start getting out of age zero and into age one. Because the, by that metric, we haven't even started the pack yet. Which, honestly, I'm happy about. Like, this is, this is a pack that is designed for the long haul. And I'm enjoying the mechanics that I have to play with so far. They haven't become s annoying yet. I'll let you know if they do. But uh, I don't expect them to, honestly, because so far, every time that I've been about to run into an annoyance, um, I've had that annoyance uh, dragged away from me and uh, given an alternative. Like the grill. The uh, fire pit would have been... A frustration if I'd had to spend any more time and energy and fuel running the fire pit. But then I built the grill, and now I can cook my food with ease, and life is good again. Oh, that's that's just beautiful. I like it. There we go. Now we're drying our hides. All right, folks. See you next time.